Or before you head to the beach, we want to make sure your skin is covered and you know the difference between sunblock and sunscreen because apparently there is a difference. Joining me this morning is Dr. Mandel Brown of Mandel Brown Plastic Surgery Center. Thank you so much for being here. Right. Always love having you in. So I did a bike ride yesterday because it just seemed like the perfect day. The sun was out in Cincinnati. It was beautiful. But like I said, the sun was really out. It started to get really hot. And I thought that I sprayed like sunscreen on. But you said there's a difference between sunscreen and sunblock. What is it? Well, there's really a lot of information about sunscreen and sunblock. And I am so glad that you did that because many people think that African Americans, Middle Eastern people, mm -hmm with darker melanin pigment mm -hmm. that you don't need to use sunscreen and you absolutely do yes and so i'm proud of you for doing that i hey i learned my lesson after you get sunburned once <laughs> you yeah. don't do it again and, and you're damaging your skin and that yeah. leads to two things one skin cancer mm -hmm. but also aging skin and wrinkles and things that we later cure with lasers and things like that so there are different sun screen and sunblock products okay and the sunscreen is uh, something that you put on like this like this okay. or that comes in a spray form okay and it actually reflects some sun but it absorbs most of the sun rays oh. and so sunblock actually blocks the sun from entering the skin pigments. Okay, so which one? What are some examples of the sunblock you have up here? Because that's what. So I we have some sunblock, and this is a uh, spray-on okay. sunblock that we've actually developed. Okay. And it has zinc oxide, and uh, most really good products have up to 13% skin blockage, like zinc oxide mm -hmm. or titanium oxide. Mm -hmm. uh, the sunscreens have usually other products like PABA or something called oxybenzoate. Okay. And those absorb the sun. Now, interestingly, in Australia, they found that the oxybenzoate in most sunscreens, and that's a sunscreen that absorbs the sun okay. rays. Instead of your skin, it absorbs it. It's damaging the coral reefs because oh. it washes off the swimmers. I did hear about that. And that damages the coral reef. So products like uh, blocking products like zinc oxide uh, are very effective. And uh, the application is important as well. OK, so when it comes to application, how is it that we can do this properly? Well, when you put it on your arms, that's great. OK. But don't forget your palms of your hands. OK. Soles of your that. feet if you're bare feet. Okay. And especially your ears. You know, we always forget applying See, it I to never our put ears. it on because my ears are covered, so I thought your it would be fine. Covered. But if you're bike riding fast, that wind may be blowing your hair. Ah, uh, you're right. Okay, so, you're right. In Australia they have a phrase slip, slop, and slap. <laughs> you slip on a shirt. Okay. You slap on the sunscreen. Okay. And you uh, slip, slop, and slap, and you put on a hat. Okay, well, and put on a hat. Slip on a shirt. Oh, okay. I got it wrong already. Slip on a shirt. Slap on the sunscreen. Slop slap on the hat. Yeah. All right, perfect. Done. So they can pick up these products over at your offices, right? Where are you guys located? They can. Or uh, the important thing is just to use something. All right. That's great. Just make sure you use something. Okay. Well, um, that is definitely going to be needed because uh, Dr. Brown, we're about to get in some. Hot, hot, hot temperatures. Uh, we have Jeff Creighton standing by with a look at our forecast. Yeah, you know